Okay, we're now going to look at reflections. Um, if you're looking at more advanced reflections, uh, look for the video reflections on a coordinate axis. Okay, uh, we're going to just use mirror lines in this video. Okay, so here we've got our trapezium and we've got our mirror line. We want to reflect this trapezium in the mirror line. So this is the object, we want to reflect it and get the image. To do that, you start off, you look at one point at a time. So let's start off looking at this point. So from here, it's one line across to the mirror line. So we're going to go over another line across that way. So that's where we'd go to. So one across, another one across. Let's look at another point. So let's look at this point up here. So to get to the mirror line, you'd go one, two, three, four, five. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five. So you're going to go number five. One, two, three, four, five. So that's where that would go to. Let's look at another point. Let's look at this one down here, this one. So from here you would go one, two, three, four. So you're going to go one, two, three, four. And finally, for this one, to the mirror line, you go one, two lines across. So you're going to go number two, one, two. So you go to there. So there you can see that you've got your image. All that's left for you to do is to join that up using your ruler. As so you join that up, and there you have reflected the object in the mirror line to get your image. Let's look at in the next example. The next example is going to have a diagonal mirror line. Okay. As I said, if you're looking for reflections where you get equations of mirror lines, such as y equals 1, x equals 2, y equals x, etc., look at the video Reflections on a Coordinate Axis. Okay, we're going to reflect the triangle ABC in the mirror line. As you can see, the mirror line is a diagonal line, so whenever we reflect it, we're going to have the count diagonally. So, let's start off with coordinate A. For coordinate A to, uh, coordinate a to the mirror line, you would go one diagonal, two diagonals. You see that? You go one, two diagonals. So you're going to go two diagonals across, one, two. So it would go to here. So this would be where A would go to. Let's look at B. Sometimes you call it A with a little dash. Okay, That just means it's the image. Let's do B. To B to the mirror line, you'd go one diagonal, two diagonals, three diagonals, and a half. So you're going to go a half, one, two, three. So B would go here. Let's call it B with a little dash. Okay, let's just check that. It's one, two, three, and a half. And this one was one, two, three, and a half. So three and a half each. Let's then have a look at C. C is one diagonal to the mirror line. So you go another one diagonal and you get there. So that's C dash. Then all you need to do is to join up these shapes. So you get your ruler, or these points, sorry. And you just get your ruler and you join up the lines like such. And there you can see we have reflected the shape ABC in the mirror line to get the image A dash, B dash, C dash. And that's how you do reflections with a diagonal line.